Well, Minnesota and the nation remembering former U.S. Senator Dave Durenberger as a thoughtful public servant focused on public policy and the people he served. Durenberger died in his home, uh, died this morning at the age of 88 at his home in St. Paul. Fox 9's Rob Olson is here now with more on Durenberger's legacy. Yeah, Amy Kelsey, Dave Durenberger's health had declined in recent weeks, according to his family. They were by his side at his home when he died of natural causes. Out of office now nearly 30 years, but his influence still very much felt. Senator Durnberger was such a great friend and mentor to me. Democrat Amy Klobuchar holds a Senate seat that Republican Dave Durenberger held for 18 years. Despite differing parties, she feels a certain political kinship. When I first got elected, he sat me down and he said, look, this is all really exciting and cool. You're a U.S. Senator, but it's not always going to be that way. And you've got to have a moral purpose for what you're doing. Durenberger served from 1978 until 1994, a conservative who championed what are now considered liberal causes, helping establish the BWCA, sponsoring the Americans with Disabilities Act, pushing to expand Medicare. His most notable achievement would be the impact he had on national health care. He was a great contributor to that debate. Uh, so he'll leave behind a very, very fine legacy. Former Governor Arnie Carlson joined Durenberger in leaving the Republican Party in recent years. He felt the party lost interest in policy and public service in favor of simply partisanship. What Dave understood and understood very well that if you have a good in-depth understanding of public policy, you can bring people in, you can work across the aisle, and you can actually get things done. Durenberger opted not to run for re-election in 94 after he was censured over improper travel expenses and speaking fees. But Klobuchar says he was never bitter, that he continued to work on causes important to him and stayed focused both on policy and people. That I hope we can bring back. It's just he was thoughtful about issues, and I think we need more of that in Washington, D.C. right now. Senator Klobuchar believes Durenberger's style of bipartisanship, though, is still very much possible in Congress. She points to recent legislation, such as the infrastructure bill, as an example of that bipartisanship. Funeral services for Durenberger will be held next week at his alma mater, which is St. John's University in Collegeville. Amy. All right, Rob. Thank you.